still here in Phnom Penh. Still Snoop Dogg and DRE. Guess who's back? <laughs> I'm hungry though. And we were on that alley exploration and we saw some sticks of meat. Meat on a stick. So we're gonna eat that meat on a stick. First, let's be careful crossing the street. All right, now, we got a cool place. I don't know, is it the same thing? Are these the, they got meat, they got meat. Let's go over here. Hello. Hi. What do you what do you have here? Is it beef? Beef? Yeah. Okay. Uh, beef and what? Beef and bread? Yeah, beef and bread. Yeah. Beef and bread? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do people eat it? They just <laughs> you just eat the beef and the bread? I'll have oh. <laughs> All right, I'll have that. Can I have Yeah. Eat here? Okay. Thank you. My friend Roland, how about you? Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and sit here so we can have the, the beef preparation in the background. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. What do you have? I'll have liver beef. Okay, I don't want the liver. What's that? Beef. Yeah, I'll have that. How many? How much is one? Uh, 2,500 for one. Okay, uh, let me have um, three. Three, yeah. three. Three beef sticks. And bread. And bread, please, yeah. yes. One bread or half bread? Um, half bread. Half bread. Yeah, thank you. All right, we got the beef. Three beef sticks, a half bread. And we'll see what it's like. I don't know. Maybe you eat it with fruit. This is uh, doo doo. Papaya. How do you say doo doo in uh, Khmer? What's this, sir, in Khmer? Chiru. Chiru. Chiru? Yeah. Chiru. All right. Chiru. 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 Yeah. Okay, Chiru. So, uh, Papaya. Yeah, yeah. Papaya. Yeah. Papaya. Alright. Vietnamese is uh doo doo in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so chidoo. Yeah, yeah. I live in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just traveling here. Yeah. How uh how long have you had a restaurant here? How many years here? Yeah, maybe I sell uh nineteen 86. Oh wow. Yeah. Till now. It, it now, yeah. Wow. I was born in 1990. <laughs> That's old, older than me, this, this restaurant. That's cool. Very cool. Thank you. So it is like the bread with butter. Yeah. We've had this before. Thank you. And the beef sticks. I don't know if you guys remember, we went to the Cambodian restaurant in Ho Chi Minh City in Saigon and we had the exact same thing. It was the beef stick with bread and butter and papaya and a satay sauce. Let's dig in. Barbecue beef stick. This place has been here for 37 years. Beef stick was barbecued right there. They had different kinds of beef, or at least they have liver and this kind, which seems just like regular beef. Let's just try the beef first. It's good. It has a, like a lemongrass taste. Nicely charred as well. Not like super tender, but tasty, delicious. Now, you might be wondering 
why did I only get a half bread? Why didn't I get a full bread? Because I'm trying to wash my figure. You know, you see this? This isn't, you work for it. You make decisions like that. Like, do you want the full bread? No, I'll have just the half so I can keep, you guys get it. You get it. I don't have to explain that. But look at this technique. I, this is Tyler Bentley patented technique, getting the beef off. Put it in the bread, grab it off like that. If you start seeing Khmer people do that in the future, you know where it started. Or if they already do do that, then okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not that creative. Let's put the beef in there. Got it in. And let's put the... Chidu, right? Chidu? Chidu? Let's put the chidu in, in here. The dodo. 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 I don't know why I'm just repeating papaya and Vietnamese over and over. A little bit of satay. That goes in. All right. Now it's formed. You can see it in there. Made myself a little sandwich. And now we dig in. Sometimes I'm like, you gotta sit back and enjoy the beef stick. It's good though. Spicy. The satay sauce, that adds a serious spice factor. That's no messing around satay. Let's see what else the, the table has. Brown sauce. Maybe it's like a mam tom. Pepper, I assume. Let's have a little bit of the pepper. Let's add a little bit of that. That's good. What else? Sugar. Interesting, because usually you see salt and pepper. That's sugar. You can tell the grains reflect light a little bit more than salt would. And then more satay. Oops, I dipped the thing in. Yeah, that's just the same thing as this, I think. I don't know what the brown sauce is. Sorry, guys. I'm not very smart. There we go. Big brain. Okay. I'm not really sure what the brown sauce is. Let's just try a little spoonful. Brown sauce, trying for the first time. Smells a little bit like um, a little weird. Now, it's like lentils, lentil beans. Put that in there. That has an interesting, it's almost like fermented lentil beans. So that adds like a fermented flavor to that. I am. So 
sweating out here. I wonder if they have like, do they drink iced tea or something? Do they have like a chat ad? I guess I see drinking is not a thing. The bread is good, flaky. Thank you. Uh, our food. Our food. The bread is is very similar to a bind me bread. It's um, light, so not very dense, very fluffy. Flaky. Got it. Show a little little flake drop. <laughs> Let's try the beef one more time and then I'll give it an overall day, right? Little bit of a lemongrass flavor, a little bit sweet almost. We get a little bit of a sweetness flavor. The papaya with it is fresh tasting. Obviously, it gives a little bit of a crunch factor. Why do I qualify everything as a factor? Don't know, but I like doing it. I think we gotta do it, do it right. Have the, the bread bite with the papaya. Eat it like they would, the locals here. It's a cool mixture. One more bite. Local style. Crunchy bread, papaya, barbecued beef. Alright. The beef, I want it to be more tender. It is just it's just a little bit difficult to chill. But it's good. It's got a good flavor. A good char. I like the, the kind of lemongrassy flavor. The papaya adds like a a cool factor to the whole thing and a tiny bit of sweetness but mostly just like kind of cools everything down spice it up with the satay that adds a serious spice factor bread very similar to a by me bread good overall dank rank been here 37 years 8.4 that's good solid very solid i've only ever had this dish the one time at the place in saigon and this tastes very similar to that so 
authentic in that sense. Well, that place is authentic, I guess. This place you know is authentic because we're here. Yeah, what did I say, 8.4? Or 8 point something. Okay, 8.4. Very solid. I like that the the beef is served like on a leaf. What kind of leaf is that? Where do they get that leaf from? Leaf from where? I want to ask about that. They have other things still. Looks like they have other meat, other meats. Where is this? The leaf. Where do you find the leaf? Where's the leaf from? This. You take away then? No, no, no. Where? Where is it? Slapchu. 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 Yeah. Okay. But like, where? Where do you find it? Uh, On a tree? Uh, In the market? Yes, market. But, okay. I so, buy market. But, uh, so for example, how do I explain this? So not leaf of a banana. No. No banana. No, what is it? Uh, <laughs> you don't, it's okay if you don't know. <laughs> it was trying to, so this is, this is interesting. This is kind of like the, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. That's sort of, that's the thing that happens, right? When, when you have a language barrier, you sometimes, you want to express something, but yeah, you run into that. But yeah, 37 years they've been in business. She's grilling them up all day. Got lots of different things here. I think that's just like a cutting board for cutting the meat. And yeah, nice, humble little restaurant here. At 37 years, a long time. That's a long time to be in business. Little bathroom back there. I like it. It's a good place. I'm saying, I'm saying yes. Saying yes to the place. I like the restaurant. Good restaurant. What is this place called? Let's see. It is here. That's what it's called. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't, how do you read this? Pasta. How do you, how do you, can you read all of that? Uh, restaurant uh, faster. Restaurant faster? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's their phone number yeah. here on. Street? Yeah, 51. 51 Street? Yeah. Okay, 51 Street, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Shout out to Stupid Young. <laughs> uh, and what's your name? Uh, ban. Ban. Yeah. I'm Tyler. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the, for the meat. It's very good. <laughs> Guys, come here. You'll like the food. I think it's fantastic. I got one more stick to finish. Uh, let's finish up that stick. We have one more stick. Let no stick go to waste. We'll burn through this stick. Hold it down. Hold the leaf down. We don't know where the leaf is from. I can, so you turn it when you're cooking it. What about turning it when you eat it? Good stuff. 
little fat there. A little meat there. Last bite. What do you what do you call it in Khmer? Uh, numpang saku. Numpang saku. Yeah. Eat numpang saku. It's good. It's delicious. How do you say delicious? Very good. How, delicious in Khmer. How do you say? Delicious, tasty in Khmer. Like good food. How do you say? Uh, uh, like mmm. Chingang. 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 Ah, Chingang. Okay. <laughs> Chingang food here. Come get it. You'll like it. And very nice uh, bang, right? Yeah. Very nice guy, bang. Highly recommend the place. Hope you guys are you're here in Phnom Penh on Street 51. Come check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to support the growth, and then leave any comments you have. I'm really happy to hear from you all. And I'll see you all in the next vlog. Peace.